Before this video even starts, I want to say that it is a lot harder and it takes a lot longer to grow a non-niche channel but your happiness and what you wanna make should not be the decision of what content you wanna make. You kinda just have to understand what you want out of this. But these are my tips on how to get out there and how to have people become invested in you and wanna watch you for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to grow a non-niche channel. As you can see, my channel is a mess as some people might put it. I film what I want and I've always stuck by that because I wanna do what I wanna do and I want people to subscribe for me. So today I'm going to be sharing with you tips and tricks on how to get your channel out there and hopefully you'll take something away from this video. This is also a super fun video because I'm doing a collab with Annie Dubay here on YouTube. By now she probably has hit 50,000 subscribers so I want to congratulate her. She has worked so hard and I guess without further ado I'm just going to let her tell you more about herself. Hey guys, Annie here. I am so excited to finally be doing this collab with Alex. We've been talking about this for so long. I'm so glad we're finally doing it. If you guys are coming on to Alex's channel from my channel then please be sure to subscribe to her channel. I love her and her personality so much. I'm sure you guys will just as much and if you guys are one of Alex's Alex's subscribers and have never seen my face before, then hi, my name is Annie. Over on my channel, I talk all things YouTube growth, tips, tricks, and strategies. And for my part of our collab over on my channel, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips, tricks, and methods on how you can basically stand out and get noticed more as a smaller, newer YouTuber on the big platform and big world that is YouTube. So I hope to see you guys over there and enjoy Alex's video. So after you watch this video, make sure to go check out her channel. So the first tip I have for you is trending topics and timing. You have to publish your video on a specific topic at a certain time and the algorithm will push out your video. Annie talks about this a lot, but it is so important. And my first hand account with this is my Micah Stalker video. It has over 1.6 million views. I swear, I think it is because of the timing. I was uploading when a lot of people were uploading and also a lot of people were searching for it. Another good trending topic that I didn't really follow or do anything with, but a lot of people gained traction from the letting Starbucks baristas pick my drink for a day. That's a great example of timing and a trending topic. The next tip I have for you is titles. So for a non-niche channel, you need to make your titles either searchable or clickbait. If you're doing a vlog, you have to entice someone to want to click on the video. If you're doing a vlog and you're dyeing your hair, you're not gonna just put the title as hair vlog. No, you need it more enticing. Dark brown hair to bleach blonde hair. Something like drastic. Something that will make someone want to click on the video. You need to give the person a reason to click on the video. This goes for all YouTubers across the platform. You've gotta have a passion for making videos. You should have the mindset that people would wanna watch any sort of video that you put out because of you, because you're the person that they're subscribing to. Whether I do a review, whether I make an adoption video, whether I make a luxury unboxing, I want you to wanna watch me, not just because of the purse, not just because of this, that, or the other thing. I wanna build that connection with you, establish like a personal connection. You have to have the mindset of wanting someone to wanna to watch you because they like you. To go off of that, if you're a non-niche channel, you're going to take a long time to grow. Um, it has taken me a while to grow and that's totally fine. But because I have passion and because I don't wanna ever feel like, oh, I don't wanna make another adoption video or oh, I don't wanna make another fitness video. I never wanna get to that point. So I just wanna put it out there. It's gonna take you longer, but if you have passion and you are persistent, then it's going to come to you. Also with that passion, you can see it and you can feel it through the camera. So if I was only doing one sort of video and I wasn't liking it, you would definitely see it through the lens. It would definitely come across on camera that I did not like what I was doing. You've gotta love what you do. Okay, so I'm going to read this tip off of my phone because I feel like I wrote it out so well. Your goal should be getting certain videos on the Google search page. So you're gonna find a product that doesn't have a lot of reviews or information about it. People in general are curious, so they will search something on the internet. 
they'll search the name of it and your video will be number one or number two on the Google page, which is awesome. People from an external source will find your channel. And if they like your personality, going back to your personality and you through the camera, they will see that and they might like your personality and you will get subscribers. So I have a few examples here of videos that I have ranked pretty high on Google search. This isn't YouTube. This isn't your ranking on YouTube. It could be a ranking on YouTube and I believe it has something to do with that, but I'm strictly talking about when you Google something, your video is number one or number two. So you can Google any of these things and my video will pop up which is pretty cool to say none, nonetheless, but um, some examples would be the healthish water bottle. The next video was my highest performing video for a very long time. Um, I believe it has over 200,000 views and it was about BioX4. BioX4 is advertised here on YouTube a lot of the time during the new year and a lot of people are searching for it. And my video is ranked number one, which you know, a funny thing is that video was a throwaway video, which I just posted because I had nothing else to post, which I don't really recommend doing that, but I did it and it's one of my highest performing videos, so you just never know. The next and final example I have is the Chloe Ting resistance bands. I did not see any reviews on them and I wanted to try them out, so I decided to buy the product, try it out and do a review and I'm probably ranked, I believe, number two on the Google search. How to get your video ranked on Google and YouTube is all thanks to a really good tool that I personally use. I just use the free version, but I've heard the pro version is amazing. I will have a link down below. I do have an affiliate link, so if you wanna purchase from me, that's super awesome. If not, that's fine. It is called TubeBuddy and Annie is a pro at TubeBuddy. She has worked with TubeBuddy. She knows all the ins and outs. I'm no pro at it, but it's definitely helped me with my channel and ranking. But I highly recommend you check out TubeBuddy because I really believe in that product. Um, just knowing how important it is to get your video ranked in search, no matter if you're a niche channel or you're not a niche channel, it's very important. Moving on, the next tip is get people invested in your life. Ask yourself, why should they care about you? Because you are not a niche channel. You're not teaching them one thing. You're not just showing them one thing. You're not just talking about outfits and makeup. You know, why should they wanna watch you? Get personal. You don't have to get too personal. Like I don't share everything. The more personal you get and the more invested someone feels, the more they will wanna click. Take Trisha Paytas, for example. I don't really watch her videos, but she has a lot of people invested in her life and what she's doing. And the reason why she makes videos on like crying on her bathroom floor that someone broke up with her. You know, we can all relate to that and she's getting really personal. So that is one way you can really grow as a non-niche person, get people involved in you, in your life. The next tip I have for you, I like to call anchor videos. So start a series on your channel. A good series that I've started is my workout journey. Anchor videos are great. So pick one day out of the week and just do a themed video. So every Friday, I like to call it like my fitness Friday and I post an update and what I did that week fitness wise, like what exercises I did, how bad did I eat? Like I ate a whole bag of Triscuits. Start a series or videos to anchor people to want to come back. This isn't limiting your content, it's just making a consistent theme throughout the week. The next tip I have for you is really dumb. Some of you might be like, Alex, every YouTuber says this, consistency. Consistency is really important. Um, there's a lot of family channels out there that are boring. Like I'm not gonna lie, all right? And some people think my videos are boring. There's some videos of mine that I think is boring, but because people can expect something on a certain day, they will watch, which is insane. But if you can daily vlog, if you don't wanna be a niche channel, then at least if you post every day, people will start to notice that, right? And you'll become a part of their daily routine. Once you're part of someone's daily routine, people like routine. So once they are like, oh, I know Alex is gonna post on Monday at seven, then they're gonna be like, oh, well, that's my routine. Every Monday night after my dinner, I'm gonna watch an Alex Jane video. Get in people's routine. Post every other day, post every day, post three times a week, whatever it is, 
get in their routine. I'm just gonna speed through these three little mini tips that kind of go all together, but Number one, comment on small YouTubers channels. When I was around 3,000, 2,000 subscribers, I was always commenting. Don't say, by the way, I'm a small YouTuber, sub for sub, don't do that. You might get your channel deleted, which we don't want. Just say something positive about the video. Number two, use metadata. So I don't know the best way I can put this, but when you're gonna export your video and it's like, where do you wanna export? And then you have, if there's a date, I'll take a screenshot and I'll put it there. I actually learned this tip from Annie, so shout out to Annie for this. But you're gonna put like tags and related things into that little box that say tags before you even export the video. So it's kind of like words and target words are already embedded in the video and your computer already knows that. So I don't know if that actually works, but I've been doing it and I've had some success. And number three, giveaways. When I was around 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, I was trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. I would always do giveaways. And giveaways could be super simple. You could do a back to school giveaway. You could do an Amazon Target gift card. You could do any sort of giveaway, but showing appreciation to your subscribers is amazing and they'll feel really appreciated. So I do recommend doing giveaways. Just be careful, make sure you're following YouTube's guidelines. Um, you cannot pay to enter a giveaway. Entering a giveaway needs to be free. So I'm just gonna put that out there, but giveaways helped me a lot. The last and final tip that I have for you about growing a non-niche channel. This is probably my most important tip that I can give you. Thumbnails. Thumbnails are important, along with titles, obviously. But I'm just gonna read this because again, I'm a lot more organized when I just read something off of my phone because I have notes. So my channel has many thumbnail styles, as you guys can see. Again, it's a mess. It's Alex. If you want to create the content you want to make, you gotta make sure that the target audience of that niche will like or be drawn to the thumbnail. Okay, so going a little further into this, a haul video would have a different thumbnail than a vlog. And a tutorial thumbnail would have a different thumbnail than a story time. So you as a non-niche person needs to target, target your video of that specific niche to that niche community. So I hope you guys found this video helpful at all. If you have any other tips, questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out Annie's video. I know you will like it. She's probably a lot more organized than I am. Um, but these were my tips for growing a non-niche channel because I do whatever the heck I want on here. And it has taken me a long time, but I've never fallen out of love with doing this. And I don't want you to ever feel like you only have to do one thing. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.